you how you can make a race of bus and car and with play and pause button to run the whole race so for that you have to select file import a background so I already have downloaded some of the good background like this one and so we have to now resize it like this so it will be really perfect just that it's look good and in next layer we have to uh, you can also name it like buzz and then you have then you have to click on the first frame and again file import import to stage then you have to take any buzz like this one it's, it's awesome and now click and resize it if if that doesn't happen then you have to click right here free transform tool if that doesn't work so it will be really work uh, like there and like really small size over here and like here maybe a little bit so in next layer we have a car we need a car so just delete it and write car so it will be easy to understand which layer goes for which and here we again we have to take up image of car like this one and so we have to find a car image right now like this one it is perfect police car 911 so what we have to do is again resize it and to place behind the bus so it will look like that the police car is changing through this beautiful bus just perfect and the next step is we have to do is to make another keyframe over here just like that and here also you can also click F6 and function plus F6 if you are using any short keyboard and and the last layer which is background so you can just use F5 or Fn plus F5 if you are using small keyboard or you can just mouse and click insert keyframe so insert frame so it will be easy and you can get the appearance of the background so the next step is to add the first frame of the uh, at the car layer the the initial position of the car at the beginning so at the end it should be uh, at the end and for that you can use shift plus arrow key on the keyboard to make it forward and just a little bit behind because I want bus to be ahead and you can also do the same with this little bus um, just like that and now next step is you have to make here motion twin to make it work uh, just like that um, okay look at it so now everything is work if you click the control press enter then it will perfectly work uh, just show you an example like it's really working but for those because of turtle is about how to make uh, buttons or play and pause to really control the whole scene so for that we have to make uh, another layer just like that uh, and you can add more layer from here uh, I'm targeting like right now so here you have to use rectangles tool from here you have to draw a rectangle just like that and yeah and you can uh, yeah so you can use another rectangle like here uh, like that or you can just you can you could just drag because if you select control selection tool and you press alt and then drag it then you can make another one it is example like press alt and drag so you don't need to draw another rectangle or circle for button whatever really want but if you don't need just delete it so the next step if we have to do is click right click on the button and then convert to symbol use whatever you want play give the name and but make sure that it should be on the button if it, if it's on movie clip or graphic then make sure it should be on button click uh, enter and then another you have to convert to symbol like again for this one and this is for pause and this also should be button and if you're not then you should do now our button is ready and we have to write some text over here just like make sure it, it should be black or whatever color because white on white doesn't appear so here is for play and next is for pause now our button is ready and just we have to do is to select the button 
just like that and just draw uh, click on the this little icon like here so it will be really pop pop like something so you have to go into action like they and like this and here you have to write a little bit code like on release release should be in bracket and here curly brace starting just like that and then enter write play and then again bracket and semicolon and curly bracket close or curly brace whatever you call it and if you want to check that script or whatever code is really right then you can click here and if it says like that the script has no error then it is perfect and you can just copy it because we also have to put the same in another button so that's all now it's really work but what we have to also do with the pause one so again here you have to copy the code we have to paste it using control V and but instead of play we have to write here stop stop and again check for the some mistakes so there is no mistake we have to cross crosses down and now everything really works properly if you click control plus enter then you can control everything like uh, pause play pause play pause play pause or whatever you can play with it as long as you want so here that's all and so thank you for watching see you next video bye bye